क्योंकि पाकिस्तान कर देश कर देश कर देश On my way to Pakistan, I stopped at Istanbul for less than a day. During my short stay, I took a ride on Uber to visit the old city. So, what is your name? Your name Amin. 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 Okay, nice to meet you, Amin. So, guys, here I am. Uh, I'm leaving for Sultan Ahmed now with Amin. I've called him through Uber. ये जो आपको बिल्डिंग्स नजर आ रही हैं ये इस्तंबुल की सी पोर्ट है और ये एक खूबसूरत सी मस्जिद है ऐसी बहुत सी मस्जिदें हैं इस्तंबुल में जो मुझे रास्ते में चलते हुए नजर आ रही हैं ये ट्राम है तुर्की में चलने वाली तुर्की की सड़कें बड़ी अच्छी हैं साफ सुथरी हैं मेरे साथ जो बैठे हैं ये ड्राइवर वो कह रहे हैं कि तुर्की और पाकिस्तान दोस्त हैं तुर्की पाकिस्तान कार देश कार देश कार देश कारदेश तुर्की पाकिस्तान कारदेश वेरी गुड कारदेश यस वेरी गुड कारदेश ये जी सामने मुझे बिरयानी पैलेस नजर आ रहा है तो इसका मतलब है कि इस्तंबुल में भी बिरयानी बड़ी मकबूल होगी क्योंकि ये बिल्कुल सेंट्रल प्लेस है सामने कोई फेरीज वगैरह भी ठहरी हैं इधर से मेट्रो भी गुजर रही है और रश भी काफ़ी है तो मेरा अंदाज़ा है कि ये कोई सेंट्रल प्लेस है और यहाँ पर अगर ये इस्टेबलिश है रेस्टोरेंट तो यहाँ जाहिर है कि इसकी डिमांड भी होगी इट वॉज मॉर्निंग सुल्तान अहमद स्क्वायर वॉज वेरी काम एंड पीसफुल Once it was the hippodrome of Constantinople where thousands used to enjoy sports and cultural activities. Remains of three ancient monuments are still available. 15th century BC. <laughs> Originally it was built in front of Amon Ra temple in Karnak in Egypt. Yeah. So it became very famous in the 4th century. Roman Emperor Theodosius. He wanted to see it here. He sent his uh, soldiers. Uh, Romans were ruling that area at that time, so they brought it from Egypt to here by ship. Hagia Sophia is magnificent. It is not just a place of worship. It's the history of Istanbul. Largest church for almost a millennium, mosque for around 6 centuries, museum for 85 years. Now the building is called a mosque once again. The magnificent interior of the building is decorated with Islamic art, beautiful lights, and of course the whispers of its past glories Mosaics depicting Jesus, Mary and various emperors are covered with a white curtain five times a day during Muslim prayers Sultan Ahmed Mosque is situated right in front of Hagia Sophia. It is also known as Blue Mosque due to the blue tiles used in its construction. If you see a mosque with four minarets, that means that mosque built by the Sultan. 
Sultan mosques, mostly built with four minarets. This one with six minarets, still Sultan mosque, built by Sultan Ahmed. But Sultan Ahmed wanted to build best of best. Mm. Opposite Hagia Sophia, more monumental building he wanted okay. to build. That's why they built this mosque with six minarets, six towers. Walid Sultan Mosque is another Ottoman Imperial Mosque that I visited. There is a symmetry at the entrance of the mosque. Tombs of 17 Ottoman family members are located here. When I visited, the interior section was closed due to COVID pandemic. However, the exterior was stunning and marvelous. Little Hagia Sophia Mosque was formerly the Church of St. Sergius and Bacchus. It was converted to a mosque by the Ottoman Empire during 1506 to 1513. Topkapi Palace served as the main residence and headquarters of the Ottoman Sultans during 15th and 16th centuries. Now it has been converted into a large museum. I was not able to visit the museum due to shortage of time. So I just saw the location from the garden outside the palace. For 462 years, Sulaimania Mosque was the largest mosque in the city. It is one of the best known sites of Istanbul and from its location on the third hill, it commands a spectacular view of the city around the Golden Hall. Overall, I enjoyed my stay in Istanbul and I wish to come back soon for exploring more historic, beautiful and scenic attractions. <music>